Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to another food review. Today we are trying out a variety of things, mostly egg related for some reason, from our local Lawson convenience store here in Japan. We were thinking of doing a convenience store video because a lot of you guys like those and we were looking through the internet mm -hmm. and I noticed that they were having some kind of egg fair at Lawson. And so I thought, okay, maybe this week we'll do Lawson because these limited edition items usually only last like between a week and a month. Mm -hmm. We thought, why not try this egg related convenience store taste test? But before we do that, we have to start with this. It's a snack that I found from Lawson and it's called Cho Supai Baka Ume Ume Aji. So, uh, bakauke is a very popular rice cracker that you, you enjoy, right? Bak I, yeah. love, I love bakauke. So do I. They're delicious. However, this one is cho supai. Supai means sour. Cho means like super. So, super sour ume plum flavor. I'm very good at eating spicy food, mm. but I'm not good at eating sp sour food. <laughs> That's true. I'm good at eating sour food, not so much with spicy. But these look a little different from the, the bakauke that it's I used to see. It's, a bit, it's like a kaki no tane. Kaki no tane. Kaki no tane. Yeah, it looks like kaki no tane rice crackers. Mm. Yeah, doesn't look sp sour. A little bit red powder, I can see. Must be the ume. Okay, so here we go. Let the feast begin. Ting. Ting. Mmm! Mmm! Much more sour than I thought, but oh, it's refreshing! Super, super sour. Oh, ume no achi. Mm. Mm. Tastes like a very sour ume. Mmm! Here, have two more. I think it's more sour if you like eat two at, a, at the same time. Oh! Mmm! That really wakes you up. Mmm! Mmm! But you kind of get used to it, yeah? Mmm! <laughs> now, since our palate is cleansed and refreshed, we can start the review. First one, mm. very popular, karaage kun. Karaage kun. But this is a new one, right? New one. Today's theme is egg. Mm -hmm. Why karaage kun is related to egg? Mm. Because inside of this egg, no, 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 inside of this <laughs> karaage, karaage kun, there's an egg. They are using tartar sauce. Right. Made with egg. Made with egg. Yeah, I think there's like chopped up boiled eggs. Um, actually, there's uh, pictures of eggs on the package. As well as the chicken, of course. The familiar uh, chicken mascot. Okay, so let's try this. This is um, really interesting. So there is tartar sauce on the inside, right? Uh -huh. Two speaks. Mm. It's attached. Okay, uh, it's only one tooth, but I'm gonna just eat it with my hand. Okay. If you don't mind my fingers. Sorry, I'm gonna use this one. That's okay. So, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh! Mm. Wow! Mm. Kind of reminds me of filet of fish but chicken version. Wow! The chicken they use to make these karaage kun, I believe, is breast meat. You know? So it's kind of amazing that they, they could make it this tender. So, mm. it's like a Shiromi fry no tartar sauce zoe in Japan, <laughs> Japanese cuisine. Mm. The deep fried white fresh fish mm -hmm. and it's with served with tartar sauce. Yeah, yeah. It's like tartar sauce. Yeah, fish and tartar sauce. Yeah. It almost makes me forget that I'm eating chicken. Almost tastes like fish. Almost. Yeah, and the outside is very crispy and sakuto. That's a winner. Oishi. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oishi. Mm. 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 Next one. Mm. Shinichi chose this one. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is from the bakery section. Mm -hmm. And and it looks like custard. It does. It looks like it, it's a cake, I think. Right? It's tamago cake. Tamago means cake. egg cake. It looks like a tamagoyaki to me. It looks like tamagoyaki. Mm. Mm, what's the ingredients? Yogurt cream. Yogurt cream. Yogurt cream. Really? Okay. And egg. Mm -hmm. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Is it the same ingredients as custard? No. no, different ingredients. Similar but different. Well, it feels like a tamagoyaki. Tamagoyaki. Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it feels mm -hmm. like a very, very moist. Moist tamagoyaki. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't feel like a cake to mm -hmm. me. Mmm. Well, steamed cake, like malakao. Actually, cake. this is pretty good. Mm. Very nice egg taste. Yeah, and, the, and it's super moist. Mm. 
it, it's even moister than the steam cake. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I love this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Kureba is very moist castera for me. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> it tastes exactly like a castera. Mm. Yeah, but moist. Moist. Pretty much same, same, same <laughs> comment. So next one is egg sandwich, mm. but it's not sandwich between bread. Oh, okay. Between egg. Egg. Yes, ah, it's a sandwich between egg. Between tamagoyaki. Between tamagoyaki, yes. Oh, that's so interesting. Mm. Tamago de sando, tamago burger. Yes. It's called an egg burger. Mm -hmm. Egg omelette, cheese, meat patty, radish, bacon, mm -hmm. and egg. Right. And also a uh, hamburger patty. Hamburger patty, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so interesting. It's, it's so interesting. This is very good for low carbing. Yeah, it, there's cheese too. Yes. Wow. Okay, I've never seen anything like it. Okay, so we warm this up in the microwave. And so it is hot right now. Okay, usually you would be eating this like Satoshi with this wrapper. But since we uh, divided this, I'm going to eat mine with a... Uh, knife and fork, if you don't mind. Oh, that looks so interesting to me. This is very interesting. Yeah, okay, I want to make sure all the components are in there. Mmm. 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 This is very good. It's like a morning set sausage and egg, egg omelette, mm. scrambled egg. Mm. Mm. You're right, this would make for a pretty delicious low-carb mm. breakfast mm. sandwich. It's actually not bad. Mm. <laughs> the egg is very fluffy. Yes. You yes. know, but it's not like soft. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna fall apart. The bacon adds a nice smokiness. The mm. patty itself is very flavorful. Hmm. <laughs> I like this. This is good. The making way of this mm. omelette mm. is the key point of this sandwich. Yeah. yeah. If mm. it is super fluffy, mm. it's break easily. Yeah. It will break easily. Mm -hmm. And this one, a little bit firmer, mm. but still fluffy. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a perfect texture. Yeah. I'm eating just the egg, the top egg right now. Mm -hmm. And there's like a dashi flavor. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It's quite delicious. Even by itself, it has really good flavor. Really? It's like a tamagoyaki, really. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like dashi maki tamago or something. Mm, that's right. Ne, oishi ne. Yeah, so the egg itself is good. Mm -hmm. mm, all right, we're fans of this one. Talking about losom egg, we cannot forget about losom egg sandwich. That's true, tamago sando. Tamago sando. Yeah, they actually call it tamago sando in tamago the US sando. now. Tamago sando. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it on YouTube. It's Not like tamago sando in sando. New York City. Oh, yeah, very interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So, and today they have new items. Two new mm. items. One is thick omelette sandwich, and another one is a two types egg sandwich. Right. It's called tamago and tamago. Tamago and tamago. Egg and egg. So one is the your your typical. Tamago sandwich, which is like deviled eggs, and the other one is a mixture of deviled eggs and sliced boiled eggs. Which one first do you want to try? How about the regular one? The one that they always sell, the okay. tamago sandwich. Tamago sando. Yeah. Okay. Okay, tamago sando. Tamago sando. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had this in so long. Mm. Mm. It's very, very, very fluffy, creamy egg salad. Mm. No, oh, it's a very well balanced, mm. perfectly salted, not too salty. Yes. Really nice flavor. Mm. Do you guys like uh, Lawson's Tamago Sando? If you do, raise your hand. Let us know in the comments down below. Or do you prefer Tamago Sando from Family Mart or 7 Eleven? You know, people have their preferences. So it has a good balance with this bread, fluffy, fluffy bread, yeah. and this fluffy egg. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, mm. well, let's try the other half. This is the um, combo, uh, scra not the scramble, the uh, deviled egg and sliced boiled egg. Mm. 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 This one you get more like egg, just egg in your mouth. Texture just kind of accent. nice actually, mm. yeah, texture. Texture accent. And so more egg flavor. This, thing, this one mm. is, I think this is a very good idea. Mm. If Two slices have, have the same texture. Mm. Maybe someone get bored. 
Some. Some. <laughs> but this one has a different texture. Yeah. It's kind of nice. So let's try the thick one. Thick this, one. This one looks like there's some kind of sauce on one side. Oh, sauce. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. right. Mayonnaise? I don't know. Big Very slab thick. of egg. Mm, about one inch? <laughs> uh, yeah, about an inch. Yeah. Mm. 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 It's mayonnaise. This take with shop. What should I say? That's nice. Yeah. It's firmer than, of course, it is firmer than yeah. the egg salad sandwich. Mm. The egg omelet is mm. so nice. Mm. It's not dry. I was afraid it might be too dry because it's very thick, but it's very fluffy and actually juicy. A little juicy. Mm. It was mayo. I feel like there's. Is there wasabi in here? I get like a hint of wasabi, I'm not sure. Karashiri dressing. Okay, mm. so there is mustard. Mustard. Mm. I see. I so see. it has slightly different from the regular mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I got a kick, so mm. I, I mistook that for wasabi. It's mustard. I see, I see, mm. I see. Mustard dressing. I, I actually like this idea. Mm. I, yeah. mm. well, mm. This sauce works very nice. Nihonjin no mina sama. Rozo ni sugu hitte kore o tabete kudasai. Mm. Oishi oishi. Mm. Mm. I was just telling all our Japanese viewers to go and buy this one right away before it's too late. Oh, yum. So let's go on to the sweet stuff. All right. The first one is Fua Fua Tamago no Siphon Cake. Mm. Mm. And this is it. This is only 125 yen. Yeah, it's humongous. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. It's like I guess my face, well, almost. So once again, this is uh, with the egg theme. This is an egg chiffon cake. When I'm cutting, mm. I I feel very soft, very fluffy. It's like really? cloud. Mm. Well, it, um, it's almost weightless, really. Honto da, almost weightless. And and the color of the sponge is very yellow. Very, mm, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, so super airy. Mmm. Mm. I'm surprised because they look dry. It's not dry it's not at dry. all. Mm. Very pleasantly surprised. And nice flavor. Oh, I like this. Huh? Mm. Egg flavor. Yeah. Good. yeah. Mm. Very gentle flavor. Mm. So everyone could eat this. Mm. This would even be great with like um ice cream if you want to like, you know, jazz it up. But just like this, I think even my mother would like. Because my mother doesn't like overly sweet things. She loves things like this. Oh, mm, delicious. This is perfect. No, yeah, mm. perfect. So, should we go for the the Coke taste one or the pudding? So, the pudding is very beautiful. Mm. So, let's save for the last. Alright, okay, okay. So, this is something you, you chose. Yes. This, this is not egg, but shape is like egg. Mm -hmm. It's cola mochi. Cola mochi. Black. Bracken starch dumplings, coke food taste. Right, bracken starch is a warabi mochi. Ah, so Wa warabi, mm. bracken starch. Ah, I think. So they are using warabi mochi, bracken starch okay. outside. The brown yeah. part is warabi mochi. Mm -hmm. And inside that, they are using marshmallow, and inside it's coke paste. I see, that is interesting. This is cola paste, sorry. Coke, cola paste. Cola paste. And this is a uh, limited item. So once they run out, they oh, no longer no. make it. That's what it says in the package. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Fua, fua. Mm. Wow. Cola. It tastes mm, like cola. cola. <laughs> wow, that's, that's so unusual, but it works. I I think it's delicious. Fast to experience. Ne, mm. Never thought of <laughs> putting in Coke flavor into a Japanese wagashi, like a warabi mochi. Oh, it's it. mm, Not bad at all. <laughs> it's better than I imagined. Me too. <laughs> so the last one is pudding a la mode. A la mode in Japan, it doesn't mean ice cream. Mm. Pudding a la mode is basically pudding, which is a, like a Japanese custard. And this one is a double custard. Double custard. Yes. And it's uh, surrounded with uh, some whipped cream and some fruits. We have kiwi, mandarin, orange, and strawberry. Mm. You know, when I was a kid, I used to love going to the kisaten or coffee shop or family restaurant and treating myself to um, pudding a la mode because it was so pretty. I didn't like fruits when I was a kid, so I didn't want the fruits, but I just wanted the beauty ah. of the pudding a la mode. Mm -hmm. You know, because just the pudding is kind of boring looking. 
I was into like you know, uh, you know, visual things and. My mom used to always get mad at me because I wouldn't eat the fruits. So in Japan, putting almond is regularly using whipped cream and some fruits. Mm. So it looks very festive. Yeah, it's putting almond. Yeah, if you go to the coffee shop, it's actually much more festive than this. <laughs> you know, they they cut the apple like you know a feather. Yes, yes, you yes, know, yes, yes. they have like half a banana inside. Mm -hmm. And on the special dish. Yes, special dish. Special dish. Yes. Like this. Okay, so let's try the pudding part. By itself. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. I'm I'm so happy to be eating proper pudding because you know we recently did a pudding comparison. Japanese one mm. was super. It was horrible. Super. It was <laughs> unacceptable. <laughs> mm. This one is what should I say? Fun, huh? Yeah. And flavorful. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they're still using gelatin, I think, mm. but at least. You know the the texture mm. is you know not jiggly and, mm. and it's it's nice and the flavor is nice too. Mm. Oh, under this pudding, mm. custard pudding, spongy. Yeah, maybe and sponge cake and some kind of cream and cream. It's pudding on sponge cake. Yeah, this is very deluxe pudding. Mm. Mm. Oishi. Oishi, Japan. Oishi, what is this cream? <laughs> it, <laughs> it's it, is it like a custard cream? Mm. Custard cream. Oh, it's good. Custard cream. Mm. The sponge is just a very thin layer of sponge, and the cream has kind of soaked through the sponge. Ah, oh, yeah. delicious! I'm gonna eat all the layers in one time. Okay, I'm gonna have the pudding oh. with the cream and a piece of kiwi. That's right. I need cream too. And how about fruit? Strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah. Mm. 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 The fruit adds a nice tartness. Mm. Kind of acts as a you know palate cleanser. Keeps your mouth refreshed. Oh, this is a good dessert. We see it. You know, everything we tried today was actually quite nice. Mm. Uh, we don't visit Lawson too often because you know we have a 7-Eleven right behind our apartment, and we have two family marts nearby. But Lawson is kind of far for us. Well, it's not really far. It's like 15 no. minute walk? 10 no, minute no, no, walk? No, 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 no. Seven minutes? Seven minutes. But it's not on the on the way to the station. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Like Family Mart or 7-Eleven mm. is. So I feel like we should be giving Lawson more love. Mm. Like this. And you know, we discovered some really delicious things. I am pretty impressed. Mm. So today, I'm pretty impressed mm. by the egg sandwich. Which one? We had like... Oh. That's right. Yeah, we have three. Egg, meat patty, egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the low carb one. Low carb one. Ah, yeah. Why did you like that one so much? The, the idea is interesting mm. and the very nice point, good point, mm. is the texture of egg. It's not just like fluffy egg. Mm. It, it's, it's like buns, mm. but it has egg flavor, good egg flavor. Yeah. Mm. I really enjoy that too. Actually, I enjoy a lot of things today. However, I, I do have to say my new discovery was this thick egg omelette sandwich. I really like this one. I've never had quite a thick you know, egg omelette sandwich like this one, but it's quite delicious. I like the addition of the mustard on this, a mustard mayo. I really like that. But then again, I also like the uh, the egg cake, the mm -hmm. steamed cake that we had. That's good too. That was yummy. Mm. And uh, chiffon cake is also nice. The chiffon cake was nice too. And of course, I like your, you know the one you chose. Mm -hmm. I like that one too. But maybe yeah, this is a good choice. In Lawson, mm. in Lawson Company, mm. there's an egg magician. Egg magician. But I do have to say, I did like the tartar sauce inside the chicken. That was pretty genius, and that one was yum. So anyway, we have come to the end of this taste test. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, please leave your comments in the comment section down below. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you enjoy videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we release a new video. Thank you for watching. See you next delicious video. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.